everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel nicole of course today i have snoop ellie carson in the building and we are doing jolly bees for you guys i have been craving this for a minute now um before i even left for florida and i was like oh, today's the day we have to do this um so let's just go ahead and get a prayer and a thumbnail father god i want to thank you for this food and please bless this food in jesus name we pray amen amen did you want to, are we grabbing a thumbnail like this? I don't know because I'm trying to think of like with our topic, mm -hmm. but I don't know what we should do. Whatever. Just do whatever. Mm -hmm. You can always grab multiple. Yeah, that's true. I guess the one that's not spicy on it. Yeah. Without the flags. Perfect. I did not mean to order this big spaghetti. <laughs> this is like for a whole family and I didn't even realize I was doing that. Um, but I guess we'll have plenty of leftovers. So just so you guys can see Snoop, we're gonna take this down. I know it does look really, really good, but that's just what's gonna have to he looks happen. Better. It's just gonna have to happen, guys. <laughs> do, you, um, do you like their pies? All they had left was the banana. Um, I've never had Jolly Bees. Well, you didn't? I thought I asked you and you said, yeah. I didn't know you didn't. Well, it's Snoop's first time trying Jolly Bees. It's so good. I I think it's comparable to um, Popeyes. I'm just kidding. I think the first mukbang we ever did was Jolly Bees. Oh, is that <laughs> I think, I'm not sure, but I remember you got me all spicy. Mmm. And I was like, I'm not eating that. This time I asked, I was like, <laughs> do you want like, do you want to do like half and half? And he was like, yeah. Mm. I don't remember. You no. know what? They have a chicken sandwich. So I have an idea of, um, I'm not going to say it so you guys can steal it from me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I have an idea of, uh, with the chicken sandwich, what I can do in the near future. I'm serious. I'm anxious. Mm. I may have a clue. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I don't want to like get it all away. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I need to start learning my lesson and turn on that air before we start these videos. Because <laughs> I swear I am sweating. How are you? Are you? I'm straight. I'm chilling. What's going on? Mm. Am I going through like... Mm -mm. So... Before you do a mukbang and you're running around setting everything up, that's what it is. Because every time when I'm the one like doing my videos and I'm the one doing it, I'm always super hot and super sweaty. Yeah. Also coming in from the rain. Oh, it's still raining? Mm-hmm. Ooh, I want to go outside and sit out there. Then. I am. Um, I was thinking about doing that too if, after this. If it's not too heavy and you can sit under the canopy, that perfect breeze. Perfect amount of little sprinkles to get on you. Mm -hmm. It is really nice. As long as that lightning ain't tripping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. Mm -mm. I've seen someone, I was working out in the gym. <laughs> I felt so bad for him. Everyone knows out having a nice pool day, splish splash, taking a bath. Sunshine and rainbows, boom, out of nowhere. It started just downpouring, thunder, everything. Like there was no warning whatsoever. It just changed in like a click. And this guy got caught under a canopy and he thought that, um, you know how like they're wrapped around on the sides? Mm -hmm. It's like fake, it's just for decoration. <laughs> he was standing there and he was trying to unwrap it so he could close it and he figured that, he found out that he could it. And he was just chilling there the whole time it was raining and I, you, with, um, when you're in my gym, you get like a clear view of like the pool area. So I was just like working out watching him. Not like a weirdo, but like obviously I was watching my phone and then like looking out from time to time. But yeah, he really got it good. He got it really good. That rain here really just sneaks up on you. Seriously. And that's kind of scary too. I know. Yesterday I thought about you when it started raining and thundering like a lot. I don't know what part you were in, like downtown Houston or whatever, but I was just thinking of you. I was like, oh, Snoop's probably rushing home. <laughs> I love downtown, but it was so weird because like 
I can see it like off in the distance and I see all the little lightnings going in. When I turn it, it'd be sunny this way. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really weird. I'm like, Houston has too many storms for me, man. This lightning is driving me crazy. But also, you know, they say face your fears, so. Like, I love it. I'm like, what if this is the way I got out the game? I got struck by lightning. Mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Don't put that out into the universe. Oh, only that'd be a cool way, you know. Mm -mm. I, I got a joke. I got a, a bit about that. So that's the only reason I say it. Aww. Because, you know, I just turned 30. Mm. I'm getting old now. I was just telling Snoop. I want to go out. Go out to like, not like a club because I don't want to wear heels and I don't want to do the whole dress thing. That's mm -hmm. just like not me anymore. I did that in my early 20s. But I just want to kind of be around people and socialize. And it's not quite often that I want to do that. So. Oh. I really. What you think? Are you down? Oh, yeah, of course. I want to go out and. Because I've been like out and about through the city. But I haven't like went to meet anyone. Mm -hmm. um, which I really want to do. But I'm excited. And I know there's a few places that I've been that are like very kind of. You can still talk to people and still have a good time. Mm -hmm. mm. That club scene is too much sometimes. Seriously, I just... Mm. Can you agree on this? Like, being down here in the club scene is so much different than Milwaukee because, like, mm -hmm. here, everyone gets up dressed to the nines, mm -hmm. designer, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, this, this. And if you don't have a section, you're not it. Like, you're just not it, you know? It's a waste of time. And it sucks because, like, I want to just go there and have a good time. And I don't want to worry about that stuff. Materialistic no. things, like, just, like, yeah, they're cool or whatever. But it's, like, they you got, don't need all that to have a good time. Right, you got a valet pull up in your, in your foreign. And, mm -hmm. uh, look, I walked here. But. Right. <laughs> I took the bus. I took three buses. <laughs> <laughs> the bus I pulled up was at least a few hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> let, the, let the bus drop me off. <laughs> Listen, I don't care. Oh, you know what's a good idea? What? I mean, I don't know. Oh, I'm, say if we kind of plan this whole going out thing, but hired like a videographer to film our whole night or act like we're on like a TV show or something. Oh, wait, a little reality show. Yeah. I think that would be dope. Wouldn't that be cool? Because then we'd probably get into our own section and all that. Right. They'd, they'd be like, who are they? Mm -hmm. Listen, just make way. <laughs> <laughs> you know you know who he is. You know <laughs> no, actually, the last time I went out, excuse me, <clears throat> the last time I went out, I met this couple and they were really nice. They were like, let me buy you a shot. And like, we chit chatted for a minute. It was nice meeting you guys. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. That was like a while ago, but do they watch you now? Yeah, we watch and we uh, we took pictures. You know, I take pictures with people, but I never see them, and I'm always curious, like if I look tragic or not. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that would make because we were watching Bad Girls Club. Yes. And mind you, I'm like. I'm not gonna care to watch this, but I think I was editing on my laptop, and then every now and then I keep popping up like. What she did? <laughs> <laughs> they go crazy in the clubs. They do. That's what got my idea. I was like, what if we did something like, because yeah, we've been binge watching on Bad Girls Club. Well, I have, and then Snoop's been just like editing or whatever. But I watched season 16, which uh, she put Sha in front of everything. Is it Sha? Sha do you? Sha. Sha boing boing. Yeah, whatever. She's funny. Shagong. Shagong. <laughs> <laughs> but they did her wrong with uh, talking about her kids. The uh, the the girl who last came in. I forgot what her name is. Because I just re recently finished uh, season 17. That one wasn't my favorite. But I used to watch Bad Girls Club back in the day. Like when it was like really, really popping. Not that it's not now. But, you know, with uh, the pants. Oh. I <laughs> My family, we used to watch all those shows like the Real Chance of Loves or the mm. um I love I don't I don't think we watched I love Um Tequila. Uh, 
I don't watch that one either. I watch, I watch certain ones. Oh. Um, I Love Money, I love that show. They, they had all the cast members from those shows. I don't know shows. if I remember them. They had all the cast members from those shows, like, I know there was, did you watch Real and Chance? Mm-hmm. Which they came from I Love New York, and then New York came from Flavor Flav, and then, I can't even think of the rest off the top of my head. I, I, I might have watched some of Tequila, Tequila's actually, Actually, I did watch Steel with Tequilas because that yep. one of one of my the favorite dudes I liked on there. He had like a bro a bro ship with this other guy, and they got into a big fight, and he got kicked off. Mm. I'm like, oh, that was the homie. What's the um the guy with the big clock? Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav. I watched him. Um. <laughs> what about the white guy? Nope. Brett Michaels. I watched a little bit of that, but not too much. I did you watch um the bunny house um what is it called you know with the playboy bunnies oh the one with kendra yeah yeah mm -mm. no my watched a little watching. but not a lot no there's i'll tell you after okay <laughs> <laughs> not it being hectic <laughs> can't be there's the bunny ranch oh i think and then i think the Bunny Ranch is something totally different. Oh. That's HBO. Mm. But, um, you ever try to sign up for one? I have, I have not. Um, someone signed us up for something, but never went through with it. Or they never, we, we didn't get a call back. But, honestly, watching it has me thinking, like, hmm. You know, I can really expand my brand name out there, um, up my following, but also just to be like, yeah, I was on a season of Bad Girls Club on TV. Like, I would, it's pretty iconic. I would love to see you on there. <laughs> <laughs> Not me drunk every day fighting bitches. <laughs> I don't know. What if what if they did one like Bad Girls Club with your best friend? Like you you and your best friend. Oh, that would be join. crazy. Because I got a best friend that will throw them things. Woo! Not Us even together? That, but, yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm. The the house would probably be lit on fire when we're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> I see they made it um they have a twin one. Do they? Mm-hmm. They just got all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think you were telling me about the Bad Boys Club. Mm -hmm. Somebody. Natalie Nunn um, created it. I watched the season with her, too. Oh, yeah. Hers is, like, hers is really it. I looked it up, and I'm still in the age range. Age range. I think the highest is 33. Okay. And they want you to send in, like, all of this stuff. And show us, like, I feel like I can't, if I record myself, I'm going to be quirky, silly. Like, mm -hmm. I'd have to have somebody else describe me. But mm -hmm. I feel like I go in, because I'm usually always, like, that really shy person. Not shy, but kind of, like, observant. Mm -hmm. And I kind of do and say things just, even if I feel that way, just to kind of pick other people's brains. I feel like you would really stir the pot once you, like, you know, get going. got your foot step, like, you know, and stepped in the water a little bit, or whatever the phrase is. Got your foot wet a little bit. I don't know. Is that it? <laughs> My part would be doing the curf the uh, confessionals. I would have to. I would have to be lit every day. Yeah, I would. Everybody on YouTube. Because otherwise, I would just be so quiet. Mm, I think when them cameras are on you, you got no choice but to. Are you an actor? Do you? Put on a, Can I? Yeah. a face. I actually think I think I'm a lot better than I think I'm a natural, but I know that it takes a lot to be able to. But I think um, right, if I'm, I think if I'm pretending, people will have no clue. Unless there's like little cues and tells. Sometimes I'll crack a smile, but if I'm being serious, I'm like you. You're not about to know. Unless mm -hmm. I want you to. So, you think you can last all the way to the end? I feel like somebody's gonna try to fight me. 
Well, yeah, of course, but you gotta let them hit you first. No. <laughs> if that even well, makes you stay, a, they let the girls fight a little bit, but I also know how to fight without fighting. Like, yeah. Just like we get into a little tussle or a wrestle or whatever, mm -hmm. not like sending nobody to the hospital or anything like that. But, but I also just want to go and have a good time. Oh, you get down like that? No, but I know I know how it is just because I've seen kind of how the directors want the show to go. They, mm. they want you to stir the pot. So, listen, I'm here to stir. I'm like a... <clears throat> You're the best one at that. Stir the pot. No, I um, I know. I've been watching, like, uh, you know, after... After they got off of the show, like, behind the scenes, like, what they really thought about the show or whatever. And a lot of people said that the, the producers, they're really, Forces? like, foul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they just really be doing the absolute most with stuff. Like, that one girl, she tried to fight the producer. And she was, like, you know, flipping them off in the mm -hmm. uh, thing. And then she tried to, in the reunion, try to fight uh, the other, the host. What's her name? Mm. The one with the pants. Oh, I don't remember her name. I just remember that episode. True. Some with a T, I think. Only person I can remember is Natalie Nunn. Yeah, because she... I run L.A. <laughs> she, yeah, she, um, well... Uh-oh, not me saying something. And... She's coming after me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's in a lot of uh, drama right now. I watch a lot of her stuff on YouTube. Oh, she's, she does YouTube now? No, just like... Little clips? Channels talking about her because she created the Bad Boys Club on this network. And I don't know, there's like a lot of stuff going on with it. Other than Bad Boys Club, what other one would you well, hold up. think you would want to do? If it, uh, it ain't like... And where would you want to go? Would you want to be in LA? Would you want to be in Florida? Like, you know, there's different... Is it Bad Boys Club like Bad Boys or like Bad Boys? Um, I think it's like a mix. Oh. That, but, that, is that a problem? No, but you know how... Those some bad boys is messy on purpose. Like my brother, he can talk the craziest. This is different today. This is really different today. Like good or better? Bad. Or bad? They gave me yesterday spaghetti. No, like they put a lot of barbecue sauce in it or something. Barbecue. You know it'd be like if Eminem made his own spaghetti line? His <laughs> spaghetti sauce? <laughs> and called it mom spaghetti. Yeah, isn't that a song or something? Uh, I know he says it. Yeah, in Lose Yourself. Oh. But what other show would I want to be on? Mm hmm. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You were going up? I signed up for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for like a year straight. Oh, you you signed up? I didn't ask you that. Oh, yeah, for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I kept Just that one show? No, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and. And there was another show I really liked. It was it was a trivia show. Um, Jeopardy. Oh, okay. But then I start watching more and more Jeopardy, and I'm like, they know way more than me. Yeah, they they. Like, I used to watch that all the time. I'm considered a smart person, but some of that stuff, like me and Rob used to play just like in our living rooms together, and he's more like well read on literature and like um, books and stuff like that. So when it comes to those sections, I just get mopped with the floor because mm -hmm. I can read, but I don't even remember who the author was. Mm -hmm. And I don't know Jane Dickens and whatever else. <laughs> so I just read the book. What about The Price is Right? Do you know what that show? Yeah, but I don't think I've, I've never signed up for that. I know, but would you ever do it? Yeah, um, I wouldn't know how to guess. I don't look at the price. Oh, I feel like I would be really good at that show. I watched that show since I was little with my grandma. You just told me the other day you don't look at the price. I don't know. I just swipe. I did not. Yes, you did. I'm not no bougie bougie. <laughs> oh, don't make me remember. <laughs> yep, when we went to um, Angels. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that was a whole nother time and place for all that. I that was something else. I'm just saying. I was like, okay. Do it then. I was already lit. <laughs> yes. When I'm lit, I don't look at the price because you got to worry about that after. Right. What's the damage? Mm. Sometimes it's like really bad. What's like the highest amount you have spent? 
three. Mm. And that, I, that doesn't include a section that we got, but like just out in this is Appleton. Really? Yeah. Just some drinks? Mm-hmm. Dang. What time did you go out? Like, was it early? Probably nine. Damn. But, and <gasps> this is how even crazier it is. Like, our shops are like 450. A Hennessy would be like 450. Munchy. That's cheap. Yeah. So imagine that on the scale of like how crazy. Damn. You are. But were you just buying it for yourself or other mm -mm. people rounds too? Rounds, yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody getting lit tonight. <laughs> Have you tried to sign up for any? No. Where would you want to go? Um, I would do Bad Girls Club, Love Island. Just because it's like really gorgeous. And then, you know, who knows? Maybe you'll find something, maybe not. But just like the experience. I've heard a lot about that. But I don't... Well, I watched the UK version. So, I'm going to see if I fake an accent. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Quite sunny, isn't it? <laughs> we do not sound like that. No, I'm not even going to do it because someone came for me one time. And I was like, <laughs> but it's not that serious, though, anyways. But, you so, know. Those all used to be VH1 shows. They are going to, like, a different network. I don't know because I um, I only watched uh, Love Island UK on Hulu. Not on TV. You know what show I would love to watch? I'm trying but to think I know it's so fake. Family Feud. Mm, mm. Cause that'd be really fun, but they're always I like, like good one. answer when mm -hmm. they say the dumbest thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. I like that one a lot too. I would do that. Do they still do the real world? Cause I think, uh. I feel like like Bad Girls Club or Bad Boys Club, they like want you to be messy, but I feel like the real world, the real world, it can come out, but they want, I feel like it's way more. They don't encourage you to fight yeah. on there. I feel like it's way more of an interesting show mm -hmm. to get into and like you can actually get to know somebody and stuff like that. I forgot about that. So if they still do it, I would do the real world too. Oh, well, I know it's not like, I don't know. If I can go on Jersey Shore, I totally would. Let's make a Houston coast. Okay. <sighs> You're not even. <laughs> that one in the chat down below well, what would be the the destination i didn't mm. i would probably want to be in la mm. i don't know just because i've never been hmm. i feel like la would be too i run la yeah like i don't know I definitely wouldn't be that girl on the show. Would you do anything like X on the beach or anything like that? Like, I don't know too much about, I think I watched maybe like one or two episodes. What is that show about? I think you go there, you go there like alone and then like you meet all the people and mingle with the guys and women. And then eventually an, an X, I don't know if it's like most recent or whatever, they came they come up out of the water and see if you want to like rekindle what you guys had or continue with the new relationship on the island yeah i do that but i already know what i'm doing as soon as the show starts <laughs> i just want to be on the show <laughs> i already made up my mind <laughs> mm -mm. i don't know would you I don't know if I could do X on the beach, to be honest. I think I've seen that one though. Yeah, I did, I did see that one because, no, someone from, there's a whole bunch of shows that I know people or know of people that have been on. One of them was Love Island. Personally? Mm hmm Who? I don't know his name. I met him once. Where'd you meet him? In Appleton. It was my first time meeting him, and then there was, like, girls all over him. And he took the girl I was talking to. I'm like, who, who is this? And then some, I just. How'd you feel about that? <laughs> I didn't care. Light skin, nice eyes. It happens to the best of us. Um, I'm joking. 
but it wasn't until I think right before I came to Houston. Why was he in Appleton? Where he's from? I'll show you after this. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'm curious. I'll, I'll message um, the person that I know knows the person that told me, and I'll show you. Just gotta remind me. There's so many times I'm like, <laughs> and I don't even say nothing. I know. <laughs> Well, you can't tell me to remember. I have a horrible memory. I'll show you. Maybe you can remember them. Mm. I got my nails done, guys. It's just pink. And my toes match. <sighs> I went to go get my hair cut today. And the guy's like, oh, I'm going to call you back in an hour. <laughs> this was at, like, noon? Mm -hmm. Maybe. We got to 3 o'clock. He finally called me back. And I'm like, you, you don't think I had something else? Excuse me to do. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go at noon. I'm, I'm tired of wearing this hat, looking like Scruff McGruff. <laughs> I know, that's why I went <clears throat> early in the morning. I woke up literally like two or three minutes right before they open. And I like to go right when they open so that it's not packed. And then they act like they're all, always booked and busy. So they're like, yeah, you can come, but you just have to wait and hopefully like you're lucky enough. I'm like, <laughs> Bob. I can see you outside in the tent wait for, wait for, <laughs> wait for them to open like a Black Friday. <laughs> no, I hate going when it's like all packed and hype day. Mm -hmm. Although, I would like to go on a Friday like if I got an appointment. If I set up an appointment, say around, mm, I think they close at 7. I don't know, 9? Um, not 9. Uh, 5? Because they give out um, free drinks if you're sitting there getting your nails done. So if I sip a couple mimosas, get my nails and toes done before I'm about to go out, uh -huh. I have my face and hair ready, you'll be pre-lit and then you're ready to go. I'm not be about to go get my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go get my toes done for some drinks. <laughs> I, had a, I sat there, but it was like on like a Tuesday or something. I need a... Um... Lit on a Tuesday. What's, I need a few more days of detox. I was going a little too hard on the 20th. Maybe, yeah. Maybe the 29th too. I am. Um, well, I don't know. I've been sleeping like a baby though. Like, great dreams to where I just want to stay there. You know what's crazy? My sleep has been so horrible. Really? Yeah. Like, I've been waking up like every hour. Mm. Flipping back and forth, back and forth. I don't know what's going on because usually I sleep very well. My bad. I transferred uh, my bad sleeping. I think so. <laughs> I've been sleeping like a baby, snug as a bug in a rug. I bought this movie or I rented this movie. Um, oh, I forgot to finish my movie. I know. And mine expires, I think, tonight. What'd you watch? Excuse me. Um, Doctor Strange. Multiverse of Madness. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a um, Marvel yeah. movie. And it started out like, it was kind of slow, but I was also watching TikToks. And then it got really good, but then I fell asleep halfway through. I can't stand when somebody watches or plays with their phone when they're watching a movie. It really irritates my soul. <clears throat> I'm, I'm like that, like, but when I'm really in a movie, I hate when um, people are doing other things. But only if I'm in it. That's why I don't really like watching movies, especially with other people, because they're doing the most, asking questions, talk, talking in general. Yeah, that really makes What's me that? irritated. I'm in tune. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But don't have kids. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Believe that. Why is he doing that? I don't know. And don't have girlfriends. Oh, um, Y'all be the worst. Listen, I seen a meme. I'm not even going to say it on here, but it was you to a and I have to tell you later, it was, I was rolling. Oh my gosh. When I see that, I was like, this is so Snoop. Now I gotta see it. I thought there's mashed potatoes. You eat rice and gravy? Is that how rice is ate? This is so good. Especially from there. Mm. I don't usually eat it, but theirs is good. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. You want <coughs> mashed potatoes. You said just get whatever. No, I said surprise me. But what's the place with the um the sauce that you dip it in? This. You're oh. supposed to dip it dip the chicken with this. Ready? No, what's what's the they have their own special sauce and it comes in cups. Canes? 
Oh, raising canes. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Don't go there. I think I've I think I've been there. I don't know if I've been to Jollibee's. Who knows? Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out one day. I'm very upset that this is not tasting the same, especially how big this is. Yeah. I need to go downtown and like give this away. What's the other place that has uh, spaghetti? Fazoli's. I've never eaten at Fazoli's up until like a year ago. I don't even know what that is. Fazoli's, you're from? That's like a fast food. It's kind of like medium fast. They do pasta. I had. It's down here. It can be only a Midwest thing. Oh, I've Fazoli's. never even heard about that. I had something from there that was so delicious, and then I had they got this New York style cheesecake. Mmm. Oh, so good. I had um. New York style cheese, or I don't know, some kind of cheesecake ice cream in Florida. It was so good. Mm, it makes me want to go to Cheesecake Factory. I've never even had cheesecake from them. Are you kidding me? I get like a sweet tooth every now and then, but I'm more like. Yeah, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying that's I'm... from that movie. Mellow's most one? No. <laughs> 40 year virgin? No, uh, that RV movie. I just watched it. What are you talking about? Eyebrows? That's when I was like pissing my pants on the couch. <clears throat> it's with um, Jennifer Aniston. Oh. Uh, the guy and the, uh, the spider, the spider bit his balls. Oh my God. That was so funny. The one he's like, wait, you guys are getting paid for this? Yeah. Okay, yeah no, he's no. like, ah, the spider, ah, it bit my balls. <laughs> I can't think of the name of that movie is funny. It's like RV something. Anywho, I'm full. I'm pretty stuffed. I ate like a horse today. I'm ready to go for a swim in my pool. <laughs> no, I really have been wanting to, but take a little dip. We'll see. Where can they find you at? You can find me on all of my socials, all of the popular ones, Ellie Carson, L E C A R S O N. You can find me here on YouTube and Instagram at Nicole, of course, and on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two of you at the end. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.